So, a human, an elf, and a dwarf walk into a bar. The human says, You're lucky you're so short. That hurt like mad. You could have just stopped me, Blondie. Why waste a perfectly good setup? Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Served me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. Your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hire Ferelden's. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. The Bone Pit must be dangerous, if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. Pay no heed to local superstition. The Bone Pit is mostly harmless. You said some of your workers are Ferelden. Yes, all of them. An unruly lot, to be sure. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. What a terrible place to get lost. Not that there are many good places for that, I guess.
The looters seem to be staying away from this mine entrance. Maybe they know something we don't. Entrusty, you came along. Them dragons would have sniffed me out for certain. 
Answers first. What happened here? I'll tell you what I can, but be a friend and keep your voice down. There's another dragon close by. Where did the dragons come from? We was mining a new tunnel when the wall collapsed, and dragons came through. There was a bloody slaughter. Scared out of my wits. I ran like my ass was on fire. It probably was. Only I went the wrong way. Ended up trapped here. Did anyone else manage to escape? Some of my fellows ran for the surface. I hope they made it. Get a move on. Get out. Don't have to tell me twice. You should leave too. But don't go that way. There's this huge dragon. Oh, are we gonna go that way? I've never seen a huge dragon before. So, is the Keeper your mother? I left my clan when I was a child, to become Marathari's first. I haven't seen my parents in more than ten years. I'm so sorry. My father died in the Blight. You must really miss them. I remember my mother singing to me when I was a little girl and I'd get sick. I think that's what I miss the most. The Keeper has a terrible singing voice. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But... I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. The bone pit's hazardous at best. And if the dragons return... I appreciate your concern for my workers' welfare. I could use someone like you to ensure their continued safety. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. Why would you share half your business with me? I spent a decade 
honing my business instincts in Valroyo. I once sold a seat cushion to Empress Selene. Simply put, I have a good feeling about you. So, what do you say? If you want my help, you'll pay for my services in advance. You're both tough and shrewd. Very well. I had some money set aside for safety equipment, but it is yours instead. So, to our first order of business, we'll replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there, but it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. Do that. Do what, kitten? You sort of swagger when you walk. I've been trying, but I trip over my own feet when I do it. You just strut. It's not something you practice. How do I learn it then? It comes to you, usually at night. It's like a lover, or maybe a burglar. Either it ravishes you, or runs off with all your jewelry. And you have to run it down and stab it in the heart. And that metaphor got a bit away from me, didn't it? I think it did, but it was certainly exciting. Hey, this one that rescued me from them dragons. A fellow for Elden, no less. Oh, eyes on her face, you lush. A thousand thanks for saving Jansen's worthless hide. Worthless, am I? My farm supplied eggplant half of the South Reach. Yeah? More eggplant supplied half the bastards in South Reach. <laughs> You're a real hero. Now what brings you here? Break's over. You've got jobs to get back to. Cut back to that blight taken hold? I need work, but I don't need to be some dragon's dinner. What if there's more dragons later? Or something worse, like, uh, bigger dragons? I go back to the missus without this job. She'll rip me apart, sure as any dragon. What can we do? That bastard Hubert is the only one willing to hire us. You bear sold me half the mine, so expect some changes. Really? Be nice to work for one of our own. If you don't give us a fair shake, who would? Back to work, boys. I'm happy to take more of Hubert's coin. Maybe. I'll try to do. What would I want a parrot for? What about a peg leg? Do you have one of those? You can see that I don't, dear. Are you Punch? I'm disappointing you terribly, aren't I? And no hook for a hand, either. Seems that Varric's pirate stories are awfully inaccurate. He knows, Kitten. He likes them better that way. I convinced the miners to return to work. Excellent. I knew you would handle those layabouts. <laughs> 